And in Pennsylvania, President Obama is campaigning right now for a candidate he did not want to run. The president is attending a dinner for Pennsylvania Democratic Senate hopeful Joe Sestak. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron tells us Sestak is embracing his early conflict with the White House. The president arrived to support Democratic Congressman Joe Sestak despite having opposed him in the May Senate primary against Republican-turned-Democrat Arlen Specter. Sestak courted Latino voters in downtown Philly and cast his feud with the administration as helpful, not harmful, because it proves his independence from the president. Everybody so, knows that the Washington establishment of the Democratic Party didn't want me in the race. White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel enlisted former President Clinton to offer Sestak an appointed Obama administration position in exchange for not running for Senate. Now Sestak needs the president's help. Republican Pat Toomey leads most polls, and the GOP hopes Pennsylvania becomes one of the ten pickups to reclaim the Senate majority. And apart from fundraising, it's unclear if the president helps Sestak in Pennsylvania. The Keystone State has lost 82,000 jobs since the stimulus passed, and unemployment is over 9 percent. Mr. Obama's job approval here is 40, and more than half of those polled have an unfavorable opinion of him. Against that backdrop, Sestak renewed his pledge to break with the White House when it serves him or Pennsylvania. When the Democratic Party, from present down, was on the wrong side of Pennsylvania, I stood up and bucked that party, and I'll do it again at all the time. Congressman Joe Sestak voted for the most extreme version of the Washington health care takeover. Toomey, a former congressman who went on to lead the fiscally conservative Club for Growth, cast the president's visit for Sestak as a blessing in disguise for himself. It reminds Pennsylvania voters of the fact that Joe Sestak has been in lockstep with Barack Obama, President Obama, and Nancy Pelosi's agenda of higher taxes and bailouts and stimulus, cap and trade, car check, government run health care. But Sestak wouldn't have appeared with the president if he didn't think he needed the help and didn't want the money. Still, presidential endorsements aren't always helpful on the campaign trail, and nobody knows that better than Joe Sestak. Four months ago, the White House pulled out all the stops for Arlen Specter, and it was none other than Joe Sestak who beat him. Brett? Carl Cameron live in.